Grand Central Terminal and Penn Station play very important roles in the history of travel in New York City. The first Penn Station was built and opened to the public in 1910. The station was designed by architects McKim, Mead, and White, who designed it in a bow style inspired by the Baths of Caracalla in Rome. It took over two city blocks and included an arcade, waiting room, concourse, and carriageways, according to the New York Preservation Project. But by the 1960s, the station had become pretty bad and not visually pleasing. There was a decline in travel, therefore leading to things like abandoned trains. The demolition of the station started in 1963 and the construction of Madison Square Garden began. Now, Penn Station is completely underground below Madison Square Garden. Many people still miss the architectural design of the early Penn Station to this day. Design competitions for huge projects were really popular in the early 1900s. Four firms entered, Reed and Stem won, but Warren and Wetmore were also hired to help make the station grander. The partnership was a bit rough, but the outcome of both ideas came out well. The construction took about 10 years because they needed to invest in electrifying the rails. The station finally opened on February 2nd, 1913 with more than 150,000 people to visit that day. Later on down the line of history, the station struggled for a long while and was almost demolished like Penn Station was. But it had become an official landmark in 1967, subject to the protection of law and this secured its safety. Now the station holds five restaurants and cocktail lounges, a dining course of 20 eateries, a grand central market, and 50 unique specialty shops throughout the concourses. Both stations hold much history and importance to New York City to this very day and will continue to for many years to come.